Um, I, I, yeah, talking about practicalities, I think you also have to um, probably protect yourself uh, to a degree. You can you can receive a brief. This is one of the things that I learned in the in in this project. We wrote extensive briefs and we had ideas, but there's always stuff that is missing. So as we progressed in the project, we built in a halfway point. And we wanted to receive materials. And with the editor, I would look at the materials and then we would give feedback rather than saying, okay, this is what we want and expecting someone to get it all right at once. So I think that's, that's something, it's very practical advice. Um, you know, make that halfway point so there is still um, the space to, to maneuver and to meet the client's expectations. One of the things that I, I haven't appreciated enough or I haven't been conscious enough about is, is relations. Build relations with clients. It's not only about how, yes, it's very important, how good the work is that you deliver, um, but at the same time, people want to work with people they like, people they trust, and that goes beyond the immediate uh, assignment. So there is... Um, it. You can't be academic about managing relations, but it is something to be conscious about. It is something not to forget uh, while you're working on an assignment. Uh, and, and also afterwards, uh, yes, do send someone uh, a picture of your latest project uh, six months afterwards or, or a year afterwards, just because they appreciate that you think of them and they know the underlying messaging um, but they probably also appreciated the relationship you had with them at the time. And then if uh, an opportunity arises in the future, it's likely that you're going to be one of the first that they, uh, they call. Share, shared understanding is not only something that um, is at play when I'm assigning someone, it's also at play within in the team of it within the production team or the post production team that I'm I'm working with uh, in this case. Well, which was mainly in the Netherlands in this case, and this had to do with writers and designers um, and and editors um, and and myself. Uh, one of the one of the 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 assignments that the um, the designing the, the the design team got was it needs to have an African. Uh, uh, an African look, and these are the African Climate Mobility Initiative. That there needs to be a sense of Africa. Um, they, they, with all their good intentions, um, w aren't African, uh, haven't been exposed to Africa a lot. So it was uh, a, a discussion which lasted a while um, between uh, between the team to get that right. Another another um, aspect where it came into play was the 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 the, the color corrections in the video. Um, it was all made very very clean Western, if you will. But what what does uh, the rainy season in Africa look like? What does the light look like at that point in time? Um, what does what does the grass? look like in because it initially it there's still a lot of dust and this was an example of senegal um at the beginning of the rainy season it's not all uh, beautiful green spring grass that like we have here in europe there the dust is being washed away um the, the light is diffuse and and these are things that you that you don't if you haven't been there if you haven't seen it if you haven't experienced it um where you are yeah obviously likely to make mistakes because you're you're using your own uh reference frame your own yeah your own experience as 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 a starting point and this this was this this meant a lot of discussion it, it just meant a, a lot of trying to describe what that means pointing out examples of of uh, um, other people who have dealt with it and this is the look and feel that we want and it was an iterative process where um where, where yeah uh which we had to reach together let, let, let me put it that way um uh, so that's that's a shared understanding and, and it becomes 
I suppose, even more complex when um, when shared understanding becomes. So how do we marry all the different forms of content? How do we bring all of that together? How does text reinforce photography and photography reinforce text? How does design reinforce all three? How do the data visualizations reinforce everything and vice versa? Um, how do we bring that together? Uh, and and that is that is actually a um, uh, a, a position, a role as, a, a, as an editor, an editor in chief, really to 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 hold that together and, and to to be thinking of that in in advance before it happens, um, and getting people to rewrite or to re-edit or to redesign uh, stuff to find the right match at the right. Uh, point on the platform so uh, there too it was a uh, laborious but um, a lot of love care and dedication to make it work so if if i were to recommend certain aspects of the site to people i i think the first thing i would do is the is the two short videos one on um, uh, mozambique and the other on uh, ethiopia uh, and, and the, the Ethiopian example, well, they both speak to me. I'll, I'll take the Ethiopian uh, example of where a, a woman, uh, a young woman has had to leave her family uh, because of changing weather patterns. The family can no longer sustain her, has difficulty sustaining themselves, but her future has, she wanted to to. Um, uh, obviously, like all of us, uh, to pursue a career based on her studies, but she never got the opportunity. And she moved to um, uh, to a bigger city, Adama, where she found work at a, a Chinese company that takes in migrants, um, specifically organized by the city council of Adama. And from there, she, she uh, earns money and uh, maintains her family. It is... Um, speaks to a very large theme of a very large trend of people moving from the countryside to cities in Africa. It speaks to um, uh, to to policy in Africa. I think we, we shouldn't be, there's lots of things happening there and, and quite a number of positive things happening. Um, uh, and and I and what I really liked was personally was the quality of of the work so that 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 story works on a lot of layers which i i, I really like another aspect for me is uh, all the data visualizations so the the if you scroll right down to the bot to, to the lower end of the site there are tons of maps which you can play around with which show you 2030 40 50 when it comes to flooding when it comes to population density when it comes to conflict and you can overlay all these things and get it, it, it it's, it's, it's yeah nearly mind-boggling and yet presented in quite a neat and clean way and it's it's just if you're exploit it's a great tool to explore what is what is happening on the on the continent um and then and then a third aspect is i would recommend you actually read one of the the chapters because a lot of and this is just because i know how much uh, thought went into actually synthesizing and making the information from the the report which is part of the website accessible to a wider audience and i and, and i think just that the thinking and the care uh, that went into that merits that uh, um, uh, that attention. Well, first of all, you can see this interview has taken a bit of time. The sun has set. <laughs> it, uh, um, it's winter, so it's, it's early. But um, Jonathan told me that it's a mixed audience that is listening to this uh what do we call this to this video that's uh, that is participating in this course um and th yeah I'd, I'd, I'd like to lay down a challenge for you um because you've you've i've told you about some of the things that we tried to achieve with this with this site i've told you about some of the challenges we face some of the issues where i feel we've been less successful um but I'd like to hand that over to you. Um, how would you communicate these messages to an audience? How would you do it? How would you improve 
uh, the site. And I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, you can reach me on Twitter. Uh, Jonathan is going to share that uh, with you. And uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, to hearing from you. Thank you.